Hello everyone, I'm Christine McEntee and I'm the CEO of the American Geophysical Union. Did you know that there are many opportunities for careers for those who study earth and space sciences and yet would like to work outside of a purely research and academic career? Today I'm here with Congressman Holt, who is a member of Congress from the central part of New Jersey. Congressman Holt serves on the Committee on Education and Workforce and the Committee on Natural Resources. He's a physicist. He holds a doctorate in physics. He's also been a teacher, a congressional science fellow, and an advisor to the U.S. Department of State. Many students today in the earth and space sciences are really interested in how they can be active and pursue careers in policy and policy making. What advice would you have for these students who are interested in working more closely with policy makers or for themselves would like to pursue a career in policy or as an elected official? What should a scientist do? Well, I mean, going back to the very beginning of education, uh, it, it should be a liberal arts education. And if a scientist doesn't have a, in, in her or his formal training, a liberal arts background, well, work to develop it. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to the science and the engineering, uh, you really need uh, history and philosophy and art and, uh, uh, and cultural studies. Um, similarly, uh, I really think that um, uh, the, the single most important thing that a scientist can do is develop uh, communication and writing skills. Uh, as I say, every American, I think, has some obligation mm -hmm. to be involved politically. Um, it's kind of for the sake of our country, um, but also for each person's own sake and for their own personal development. Um, to be able to argue cogently for um, uh, the science programs that one cares about, uh, to be able to explain how one's research interests and scientific interests um, uh, help society. Uh, I, I think it's incumbent on people to be able to uh, communicate those things. Tell us a little bit about what advice you would give or what courses you took to help prepare you to pursue policy making and career avenues outside of a pure scientific endeavor. You know, in my life, in my mind, there never was a disconnect. Mm -hmm. I saw no incompatibility between science and politics uh, and the other liberal arts. Uh, so that, you know, I, from my youngest uh, memories, I've been interested in how the world works and how people get along. Well, that's science and politics. Uh, and I find that science is actually good training for lots of different things. Uh, it really is a training in how to think, mm -hmm. how to frame questions, uh, particularly how to frame questions so they can be answered empirically and verifiably. I mean, that is science. That's mm -hmm. the essence of science. Uh, and that's a skill that is useful for a lot more than dealing with, uh, you know, the ionosphere or the uh, uh, subsurface minerals, uh, uh, you know, or any of the other things that AGU members or scientists uh, would deal with. Many students in the earth and space sciences are interested in learning and taking classes outside of the scientific curriculum, and yet it's often difficult to do that because of the demands that are placed on them to take scientific courses or to publish your research purely in science. What courses did you take or what experiences did you pursue and how are you able to do that so that you could use your scientific background and yet apply it to careers outside of a pure scientific endeavor? You know, in, in my own case, I, I didn't hesitate. I took these other courses. Mm -hmm. uh, or when I was a faculty member, I taught these other courses outside of the physics department. I, you know, I, I taught one course that was co-listed in physics and religion, having to do with arms control and just war and other such things. I taught a course that was co-listed with math, psychology, and physics, looking at decision making uh, and uh, uh, decision making in, in the face of uncertainty. Um, I, I just did those things. I, probably at some, at some cost, uh, in other words, it tended to close some avenues. There are some hardcore physicists who thought maybe that was 
not appropriate use of my time. I mean, in retrospect, I would say it was time well spent. It was great to hear how Representative Holt has used his scientific expertise and balances that with his current career as a policymaker in Washington, D.C. See what amazing things can occur if you think about how science can relate to policy and how you, as you begin your career, can take your scientific knowledge and apply it to a variety of different issues and in different ways that are important to society and the problems we face.